So we're going to start with drought and any hope for rain coming up the next five days. And right now we are dealing with moderate drought across the coastal bend. Watershed levels not looking very well either, right? So we still have at least dry conditions, if not moderate, severe, or even extreme drought showing up in our watershed. We are now combined, having combined lake levels at 39.5%, which typically is when stage one water restrictions would start below 40%, but we've been left in them all year long because we never made it to 50%. Now we're officially back below that 40% level and things aren't shaping up to look good for any rain anytime soon. So rainfall coverage is trending up into the weekend, but overall rainfall chances for the weekend are trending down and still looking more isolated instead of scattered. So the area with the best chance of rain once again looking more likely along the coast there between Victoria and, and Houston or more so Port Lavaca to Galveston. The rest of Texas looking rather dry at least through Sunday, right? So here's why high pressure really going to set up right over the Lone Star State as we look ahead to next week. So right now that high is just north of Texas. We are going to see a weak kind of inverted low or tropical wave move into Mexico, but it's looking like this high is too strong to allow this low to move far enough north to really provide us with some of that beneficial rainfall. So most of the rain is going to stay in Mexico while we just see our chance for sea breeze showers and that heat continuing. Heat in Index through the weekend is still looking like it's going to be above 110. Then we're going to see this high pressure expand with a weak high moving in on the backside of that low, and then it's really going to set up over Texas. Now, the thing that could help us is if this high is far enough north, we get in on the, the outer edge of this high, and that could help bring in some Gulf moisture by the middle of next week. That's really our, our kind of hope for some rainfall in the next seven days with it trending up a little bit into Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. But for now, that heat advisory continues noon to 7 p.m. today. Looking at your day planner, you are going to see the heat index around 114, about 2 p.m., 98 degrees. Then for your high temperature, yes, it's still hot. We could see some spotty sea breeze shower. That's going to be inland. We do have a moderate air quality forecast. Once again, that is that Saharan dust across Texas. That Saharan dust forecast does look to stay with us at least through Friday, and then it will weaken. The haziness will start to become less noticeable, it looks like, by Sunday. Overall, in your seven day forecast, I really didn't mention the chance of rain, but we have that low chance starting Saturday heading into next week. Highs remaining pretty steady there in the upper 90s.